All right, we're back in the shop again today and we're doing something fun. We're working on an old European car. This happens to be a 1980, either a 79 or 80 Rabbit Diesel. Don't see these anymore. They are gone. They've turned to rust. This happens to be a one owner car. It's very special. The guy bought it brand new in 1980. He drives it every day and wouldn't you know it, the water pump has finally gone out. It's never had a water pump. The odometer has rolled over six times. It's hard to believe. It's a 1.5 liter diesel. The water pump resides right down in here. Oh, it's this housing area. You can see the green stain on the ground. Uh, there's the pulley for the water pump down there. So we're gonna put on a brand new water pump. They come uh, as a whole assembly now. It used to be back in the day, you just replaced this part, but now it's the whole housing, I guess. So we're gonna put that on. And uh, this thing is going to make it into the 22nd, 23rd, 24th century. Believe me, I can't believe this thing has lasted so long. But one water pump over, I don't know how many miles, the odometer doesn't roll over. Like, it doesn't have the extra digit. It says 20. Oh, there's our buzzer. I think it says 20, yeah. 20,838, and I think it's rolled over six times, he said. So... I have no idea how to calculate that, except that it might have 600,000 miles on it. That is just driving me crazy. Let's take that out. Um, so we're going to get together, get this water pump in, get the guy happy, back on the road, so we can put another 600,000 miles on it. I don't know how long this thing can last. How long can a rabbit last? It's a square-eyed rabbit. In other words, it has the, the large rectangular headlights, chrome bumpers, no air conditioning, no airbags, no power steering, no power windows, no power anything. It does have power brakes. Uh, manual transmission, of course, and no electronics in the diesel except for the shutoff solenoid. Uh, completely analog, completely manual, pure in its own sense. Let's get working on this thing. Let's put a water pump in it. Okay, so we're working on our rabbit water pump. You can see I've got the pump out of the car now. It wasn't too hard. I don't think it's ever been replaced. And I don't think this seal looks like it went bad. This O-ring that seals to the block. You can look down in there, and if you look right here, there's a stain at the bottom. So I don't actually think the water pump failed. I think the gasket between the block and the water pump failed. It's pretty grimy, pretty greasy, but it's probably time we change this out. So, the original water pump, Volkswagen, you did a good job. Well, I hope there's no environmentalists looking. I just fired up my old two-stroke Subaru 360, and she hasn't been run for a while. She's going to smoke. Stella, what do you think? Should we go for a drive? We gotta pick up some automotive parts. It's clearing up. And if you're wondering why it's all canted in the back, is I just floor jacked it out so the camber is all wonky. As soon as I start driving it, it'll settle back down. And here the motor's coming up to temp, I can tell. All right, so we're out driving the little Subaru 360. We gotta run some parts for the shop. And I guess I feel intimidated again because there's lots of large trucks around. Wherever we go, trucks are much bigger than we are. We have to keep that in mind. We don't get squashed like a bug. And then once we get off and going, we're going to rip. Oops. Kind of blowing a smoke cloud. No smoke in front of us, though. Whoop. Slow down, it says. We're going. 15 miles over the speed limit. A little Subaru 360. Okay, one of my favorite little off-ramp, on-ramps is here. It's a hairpin. Oh my gosh. Give her the beans. Grab a gear.
I don't know if I explained, but the reason we're driving our Subaru 360 in the middle of the day is we got to pick up a water pump. That uh, water pump that the customer supplied for the Rabbit, not correct, has the wrong size hub. So any excuse to get one of the little cars out, exercise, and get puppy dog a snoot full of potential squirrel fuzz, she's pretty happy about that. So we're out driving, picking up parts, making our day happy. The guys from the parts store want to come out and take a look at my Subaru. Yeah. Yeah. It's two cycle. It's got a nice little wrap. Yeah. 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 In, engine in the back. Yeah. So a 362 stroke though. Yeah. So 360 cc's two cycle. Yeah. That's. I mean for. And of course I flooded it, trying to show the guys at the parts store how it sounded. But we're off and rolling now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just gotta make you laugh. I'm just curious with this neighborhood. I don't want to rip it. It's school zone coming up, so we gotta we gotta rein in our horses. It's pretty exciting, though. Love driving this thing. One thing I've noticed about waiting for red lights with a light little car like this, it just turned green. But sometimes the car doesn't weigh enough to trigger the speed or the pavement sensor to make the light turn. That's really frustrating. You have to roll back and forth or just press and get out and press the walk signal. <laughs> Things you don't think about in a sub 1,000 pound car. I might be disappointed that we did not get to chase any squirrels on our parts run, but we did get the water pump we needed. So let's put it on the rabbit and what do you say? Go find a squirrel now. Well, that's cool. There's an F-18 right above the shop. And there's another one. There's our freedom. All right, it's not often that I have to drive to the parts store anymore, but when you're working on older cars like this, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So this is a pretty good example this is the old water pump with a 40 millimeter circle hub. And this is the new one with a 30 millimeter hub. This is the original water pump off the car. And of course we have the pulley. It's got a 40 millimeter hub. No pulleys are available. 40 millimeter water pumps are available, but without the housing. So we hybridized what we did here. So I took the housing off of the 30 millimeter, put it on here got a new 40 millimeter water pump and put it all together. Um, so now we're gonna put that on the car. We gotta just put this in there. So we're gonna do that now. All right, I've been starting up old cars for a long time in an indoor setting and I know this diesel's gonna smoke. It's older, runs great, but it is an uncatalyzed diesel from the 80s or 70s. Uh, let's just see what we got now. We got the water pump on. Let's take a look at our work here. We got the timing belt cover back on. We got the alternator back on. We got the shiny new water pump on down there. It has now been replaced. We have almost full coolant. Need to add a little water to that so it's not straight. I think we're ready to start it up. Let's do that. Okay, added a little bit of water to mix to our full strength antifreeze. Let's give this thing a whirl. Got our exhaust pipe hooked up. Now this does have a, it's not a choke, but it's a enricher or fast idle. I think we're gonna use that where the keys go. Here they are. We're gonna let our glow plugs glow. Still glowing. Let's see if we can go now. There she goes. Oh, and there goes my pipe. 
he's burning a little uncombustion when it's white smoke like that. Stay on there. There goes my pipe again. Oh. That yeah, runs a little rough. Rougher than I would expect. One, one cylinder's down. Okay, you'll notice the rabbit is out of the shop, although the smoke still lingers, there's still a haze billowing up. And Stella is on her little bed. This is her little work bed. She can keep her eye on me while she's watching me work. It's probably gonna get out of her little bed. And let's go outside. It's kind of a pretty sunset out here. Let's go to the rabbit. Oh, I need the keys. Oh yeah, so we got the keys for the rabbit. Now, uh, the owner has owned this car for 40 years. They bought it in 80. This is 2021, 41 years, something like that. Uh, he's taken really good care of it. It's on the original engine. And he said it's been having a hard time starting. He thought it was the glow plugs thought it was maybe the injector pump or the injectors. I think I got bad news for him. Um, I can tell it's down a cylinder when it's cold. So it might just be a valve adjustment, maybe. But when your crank's cold, let's see if I can do it. I just drove it over here, so it probably isn't gonna happen. But I could tell when it smoked me out in the shop earlier that we were down a cylinder. Let's let it glow. Kind of get a feel for this thing. Close plugs are off. Okay, it's starting up, but she's rocking and rolling. And I know diesels do that, but look at this. She's only running on three. Warms up and it goes to four, but I think he's got a bigger problem. And that's too bad. Uh, he'll probably want to fix it, so might be a short block. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting smoked out here. But I think we're, I think the short block after 600,000 miles might be, might be time. But yeah, she's running on three, kind of four, starting to pop four. So, uh, poor little rabbit, but we'll fix it up, I'm sure. Seems going to live again. Oh my gosh, that's stinky. Oh. 